Being a printmaker is vital to my practice. It's what I always revert back to when thinking about ideas, even if I'm looking at creating a 3D structure. I always go back to how would I translate that into some form of a print. I'm never happy with like a one layer screen print, a one layer wood block. I like taking the tradition and the rich history of print and taking it further through my use of technology. So yes, I can do a one wood block carved, fairly successful print, but I want to know how many layers could I do to push it to a different, a different level. And it's not necessarily about trying to recreate the wheel, but it's about pushing what print can do and taking it out of a stagnant setting into a more contemporary and interesting and lively approach. It's the everyday mundane objects that I find appealing because they are a combination of necessary objects and then completely not necessary, over the top, ridiculously expensive objects. And it's that interesting parallel between the functionality of a wooden spoon, of a very simple toaster, and then something that becomes brand name, glossy, crazy sexy and appealing. Why is it that appealing and why do I want that one? Why do I want the copper plate instead of the stainless steel plate? So I pull in ideas of opulence and over-the-top, extreme, anti-utilitarian ideas <laughs> um, by, by pushing the boundaries of what the print can actually do. So for a traditional copper plate etching as an example, yep, go in by hand, do some line work, aqua tint, throw in some tones, great. But what if you can push the detail in that print? What if you can push the process? What if you can clean it up cleaner than you've ever seen before and print it on a piece of paper that is traditional, but over the top in terms of how it's processed? The whole debate about is it art, is it fine art, is it craft, is just dead and gone. Like craft is fine art, like it's elevated, it's, um, it's respected, it's just not really a debate anymore. So um, I'm not interested in having that one. You might want to cut that from the video.